Hackers are holding our state court system hostage with a ransomware attack. Now, it's the same kind of attack that hit Atlanta's City Hall more than a year ago. Maybe you remember that mm -hmm. one. CBS 46's Carolyn Ryan is actually live at the state court headquarters with the very latest. And Carolyn, you're going to let people at home know just how this affects them. Absolutely, because this was all discovered on Saturday. So officials went ahead and made the decision not long after that to just shut down the entire network. So if you are trying to go to georgiacourts.gov, for example, you're going to run into some issues. But how about your personal information? Everybody's curious about that. Well, according to a representative of the court, uh, we were told that there's no evidence that anybody's personal information was compromised, but we did speak with a cyber expert who tells us, well, there's really no way to know that for certain. He said it's entirely possible the hackers could have been inside the court system well before the ransomware was even discovered. In fact, this is pretty interesting. He says in many cases, ransomware is used to cover other illegal cyber activity, and apparently it's pretty easy to get your hands on. There are websites out there that will rent you ransomware where you can go to them and either you pay them a flat fee or they'll work off commission and you give them who the target is, how much you want to charge. So as officials continue to try to get to the bottom of this, that website is going to remain shut down. Again, that's georgiacourts.gov. So if you need to file any court documents online or you just need to access that website, you won't be able to do so for the foreseeable future. But a heads up, state courts are still in session in the meantime. So we're going to keep an eye on, on it for you. We'll let you know if there are any updates. Reporting live this morning in downtown Atlanta, Carolyn Ryan, CBS 46 News. If you have a